Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louise and this is Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. So today I'm looking at the jackfruit um, that I've got growing in the bathroom. And I featured this in a couple videos um, when I put brought this uh, jackfruit and guava and atamoya into the bathroom to get to see if I would get better results. It seems to have worked so far. So today I'm just going to look at the jackfruit. Now, grew this from seed. Um, seed germinated um, around the April, April the fifth, the third, I think it was, when I did that video. And I started off with three, and then I've just got the one um, plant remaining. And today it's the 29th of August, so we're almost in September. So it's about five days away from being a five month old plant. And it's done really well. I did a repot um, about a month ago into this. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a picture of the um, video. You can have a watch of that, see what kind of uh, substrate I've got in here. I think it's a com combination of three different uh, substrates and so far it seems to be liking it. It's not, um, you know, suffered in any way because they don't like to be, um, what's what's the word I'm thinking of, uh, repotted. Uh, they don't like root disturbance so I was a bit worried uh, about that happening because I lost the two um, jackfruit that was growing last year so I got them up to about the seven month mark and they were growing pretty well like this one uh, but there were two in the same pot and when I did you know I put the, took them outside for a bit of sun and I've since learned that these jackfruits don't really like strong sunlight and you can tell from this um, bathroom I've not got the light on and it's afternoon and it's not wonderfully bright in here and I've reason I've not put the light on is it's connected to the fan so the noise in the background would be irritating to listen to so but this gives you an idea of how much light it gets now on the odd days when we get sun it, it's afternoon sun so around about one one o'clock two o'clock onwards if the sun's shining then this room um is nice and bright and sunny but this is a typical day here in the uk in manchester in august and um yeah so this is what we get overcast conditions outside means less light coming in but having said that this plant doesn't seem to mind so far and I've measured the height of it up to um, up to this point here. It's 49 inches. Uh, sorry, 49 centimetres, not inches. It's 19, um, 19 inches. So it's not quite at the two foot mark. So it's, it's not five months old yet. It's not reached the two foot mark. Um, my other jackfruits last year um, they were growing well but didn't actually reach two feet in height so this one has grown uh, better in terms of height for, for its age and the leaf size is pretty big um, I've measured that leaf there and across it's five inches and to the tip down to this part here where the petiole is, it's actually 10 inches. So it's 10 inches in length and five inches across. So it's um, pretty big. And the stem is thickening as, as it grows taller. The stem is starting to thicken. Uh, down here, the base is quite woody and that is pretty solid. I tried to squeeze it there's no give in there at all it's rigid it doesn't need staking and um, yeah so very pleased with the growth I water it frequently 
it's easy to do because it's in the bathroom I just pour some water or take it to the sink and um, the water goes in and what I've learnt late in life um, is that I used to be very very mindful of watering any of my plants tropical or non-tropical of over watering them and because of the root rot issues and I have lost many plants to root rot and the key really that I found is you you do need to water seedlings more frequently and keep them in moist environments however you must make sure that they're not sitting in water so give them lots of water but make sure that the excess water has an escape route it's it will drain out so this compost is wet but it's airy it's got lots of you know it's chunky it's not solid it's not like say a john in his uh type of loam based compost it's very very aerated and when the when i water it the water just pours out of the bottom so i did demonstrate that when i repotted it so if you watch that video you'll see how quickly the water drains out so it i frequently water it so maybe two or three times a week this gets a good soaking and that's it seems to like that and i've, I've done the same for the guava and uh, the mango and the atamoya which i'll i'll feature in separate videos so yeah i'm very pleased with the progress of the jackfruit i'm not sure what will happen come winter i mean i usually have this window open you know in the after someone's had a shower or a bath gets a little bit steamy here which is the plants like that but um to reduce condensation build up have the window open and so it's getting air it's getting fresh air and um but come winter, the temperature outside might be a bit um, too cold. Um, and I might, if I can get this through to winter, um, up to spring, we'll just have to see how it tolerates uh, the cooler air temperature coming in, whether that causes leaf drop or anything like that. But fingers crossed I can get it to that stage. I mean, the last two didn't last uh you know up till november they were alive and that was it really so which is a shame um but yeah so i don't give up on these things and it as i say it's trial and error trying to work out what's the best watering regime i also feed this because the water drains through very quickly you, your plant still needs nutrients so i give it say a diluted hat well, the house plant Miracle Grow is already diluted, so I just give it a little bit of that. Maybe every third watering. So not every single watering I'll fertilise it. Maybe on the third watering I'll get a little bit of fertiliser, and I will stop doing the um, fertiliser and reduce perhaps the watering come winter as the day length shortens and. It will probably go into some kind of dormant phase um, which has happened in the past when I've grown jackfruit never got them um, to grow massive leaves but when I when I've got them past the year mark uh, the leaves have been quite small and very little growth probably only got them to about this height in the past but um, yeah so I'm hopeful I can get a jackfruit to survive in the UK um, whether it's indoors, you know, it's, it is what it is, you know, it's unlikely to be able to put a jackfruit tree outdoors in the UK. These are tropical plants, but uh, growing them in the UK have the challenge of keeping them alive indoors over winter. Um, so there we have it. Anyone else growing jackfruit, whether they've bought a jackfruit tree or they're growing from seed, um, please share your experiences and comments and advice in the comment box below. So thanks very much for watching everyone. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>